All right, howdy y'all. My name's Andrew. Today, we're on Simple Builds. I'm gonna be teaching you how to get free labor out of your dad and building a case. What are you doing? I, I'm making sure the camera's in focus or something. You know, but uh, don't worry about it, all right? All right, is this all ready to go? I, yeah, I think it's ready to go. All right, let's do this video. All right, guys, hey, welcome to Simple Builds. On today's Simple Build, we're gonna make a battery case that carries all of our equipment for uh, camera batteries and lighting equipment for my son's photography business. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right, let's get right. going. All right, so this build utilizes a uh, rugged case. You can get these pretty much anywhere. This one's from Amazon, about $39, but they uh, vary in price. And, and um, we like this one mainly because the color and because of the size, it fits the equipment just right. And it allows for a little bit of an expansion if we need to in the future. All right, all right so get started on this. What we're gonna do is we need to make a, a hole on this top surface here to run the cable through electrical uh, to put in a Paracon connector and we're going to back it with this 3D printed piece that we have right here um, that Drew made up in Fusion 360. All right so to drill through this what we've done to kind of get things started uh, if you can see in there or not but we've got it sharpie uh, a mark in there just to show where the hole will go. We'll go through that with a Forstner bit and uh, we'll probably have to do a little wiggle to get the power connector to, to go through, uh, but it should be good. So as we add this cable onto the Paracon uh, connector, we're going to go ahead and just chop this pigtail that's off this surge protector uh, and so we can use both ends. We want to make sure we give ourselves enough room to do so. Um, really only need a couple inches. Now when you're stripping the cable, you have to be real careful so you don't go all the way through and cut into the cables themselves. Usually there's a paper or felt kind of material inside the tubing to prevent you from cutting into the cables. But again, just got to be extremely cautious so that you don't cut into them. Okay, so we put a little bit of solder on the end of this just to go ahead and keep them from fraying. Um, I also slid a sleeve of some shrink tubing. I've never used any of this big, but it's like a one inch uh, tubing, so hopefully this will work out. Uh, but just do over the end of the connector to kind of protect the wires from being exposed. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this soldered in, in place in here. Uh, You're gonna need to put it through the box. Oh. I put it through the box. Gotcha. That's, that's the whole point of the box. <laughs> yeah. So we built this 3D bo box needs to go in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and stick the wires through there. Stick that uh, shrink wrap on there as well. Hopefully we can get it all work in there together. Now the box isn't completely necessary, but it's more just for looks and the fact that in the back we'll have it open so other things can get plugged into the power strip instead of covering the entire base of it. I was going to say that. <laughs> we got the tube down or this uh, shrink tubing down just a little bit so that we have a little bit more room to work inside there. We should have uh, enough to cover the connector so it'll be protected. Alright, so I guess the next step we're going to go ahead and do is to uh, finish up the cables and test it out to make sure it works. Go ahead and get this closed up and moved out of the way. And pretty much this is gonna be the same kind of uh, idea. Let's make sure the cables match. Um, these are a lot harder to see, uh, but they are marked so that you can get them in the right locations. Uh, these are even a little bit nicer because we can actually just screw them into place. We don't have to solder them. Slide that up in there. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. All right. No, that's not right. Uh, no, that's right. It just stops right there. Yeah. We should do a plug-in and power test before we completely screw it in. Because yeah. once that screws in, it's locked and that's 
There's no one doing it. <laughs> okay. So it's a new one? Yeah. All right, let's do a power check, I guess. All right, so before we go ahead and attach this all together, we're going to go ahead and do a, a good test on it. I didn't know this about these cables. Apparently, once you put the connector on there and screw it in, it locks it in a place, and you're done. So there's no further uh, uh, taking it on and off. Uh, good thing, no good thing to know. <laughs> no redos. Got it. I do like that you can just slide them in and they lock oh, like yeah. that. Okay, so I guess we need something to plug into. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yep, got power? Got power. Yeah, right. All right. Believe it or not. We'll go ahead and get this closed up then and uh here. <laughs> Can we get it? Nope, nope, there got go. it. There we go. Sometimes you have to be smarter than that. <laughs> she wrote. Not a bad day's work. All right, this next part, I'm gonna figure out how I want this cable managed so it's a little less of a mess. And I'm gonna put him to work a little bit too. So while he's working on the cabling, I'm gonna go ahead and put together what we have uh, set up uh, for our cover. Uh, we see and seed this out. You know, you'll see some footage of that. And basically what I'm gonna do is attach a piece of scrap that I had. I already had the holes that are perfectly lined up. Uh, we're gonna have the power cord come through that to uh, run the cabling and this will fit nicely in. Um, off camera, I went ahead and rounded these over so that it fits the contour of the box. Um, and I, I'd say it fits pretty nicely. Now this is something that if you're at home doing this, you can do this with foam core and an X-Acto knife or other materials like that if you don't have wood readily available. Yeah, and also you don't have to do have a CNC machine to, to make this work as well. Uh, a regular palm router will work um, or even just using a jigsaw, drilling the holes out to make the, the corners and then just using a jigsaw to cut the rest out. Uh, you don't have to have a fancy CNC machine. It's just a fun to toy to have. So, all right, let's get crafting. All right. All right, so we've got the uh, tray set into place and uh, cables pulled through it. I've got to do a little bit of tweaking to it just to get everything set and right, but uh, we're, we're basically ready to go ahead and start Velcroing down uh, the, the battery tires and chargers like and things like that, uh, just so we can get uh, everything going. Um, you know, basically this is, a, this is a custom build for his equipment. You can design this however you want, but this is a good quick easy way to get all of your batteries charged in one location you just a grab and go take the bag and, and uh, head out to uh, a photo shoot or whatever the case may be so the other side of it is it makes all of my battery and stuff like that very compact and easy to store away which is very important because right now i'm living in a dorm and space in a dorm is very low so being able to keep it all in one spot i only need to plug into one spot makes it extremely easy so as we finish up this project you can see from above our head we have uh, pretty much all the battery packs in we've got some earbuds uh, in here a cable for charging up the gopro which is currently being in use along with uh, two battery packs and a couple of aperture lights that both just slide into place um, all together i think it came out really good nice yeah. uh, good clean build and uh you know we might clean it up a little bit later with maybe some paint or something like that but otherwise uh i think that wraps up this simple build now unfortunately for me it's not quite free labor. I'll be editing and filming this episode, so if it looks a little different, that's why. Yeah, so it's uh, been fun collaborating on this, and uh, 
Um, I think it's a, a good project. It gives me some ideas for some things to do for, for my equipment, uh, for different projects we've got going on. So hopefully we'll see some more things like this uh, later on down the road. But that's all for now. I'm Brad, and this has been My Simple Builds. See you later. Hey, if you like what you saw here today, be sure to hit the like button and, and tap that bell a couple times so that uh, uh, you get notified when we put new content up on the website. Oh, hey, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah, make sure you subscribe as well. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get the site up and running. It's been a real challenge just because of everything going on with COVID. And, and believe it or not, downtime actually makes me busier. So uh, we'll try to get these uh, rolling out. Uh, but again, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, hit that bell to uh, get notified when new things are posted. Until next time, this has been My Simple Builds. I'm Brad. Thanks.